Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Now, I'm just waiting for my computer to turn on. I just got into office. I'm going to do a video now called Monitor Lizards in UK Boxing. Let me say that again. Monitor Lizards. Now we all know what a monitor lizard is, don't we? Have you ever seen a monitor lizard? What? Have you ever seen Tom? <laughs> Have you ever seen a monitor, monitor lizard's tongue? Unbelievable. Now a monitor lizard, right, is somebody that will, he's constantly sticking his tongue out. They need to stick the tongue out all the time to survive. Right, it's just repetitive. It's how they take care in apparently or something, but the tongue's out non-stop, every whatever. It's a monitor lizard, right? Now, I'm going to give you, not people that have voted in, this is my opinion of monitor lizards in UK boxing. Like I've just said, if you've got a problem, come and see me. Get in touch, come see me. All right, monitor lizards in UK boxing. All right, you ready? Here we go. In 15th place, in my opinion, the 15th worst monitor lizard in UK boxing, Hatman Strikes Back. The lizard work that this man gets through. He's unbelievable. Have you ever seen his videos? I can't watch them now, I can't bear it. I believe that when I had really bad stomach complaint last year, I was complaining about, I thought, is it my gastric band, is it an ulcer or what? I thought it were an ulcer. Do you know what it were? It were watching Hatman Strikes Back. He gave me an ulcer. He gave me a stomach cramp. I can't, I can't watch him no more. People keep sending me stuff what he's said and he's a monitor lizard in 14th place I don't think we know he's a monitor lizard right but a lot of people monitor lizard around him don't they but you've got you've got to meet this guy to understand what he's about and I've met him and Adam Smith, Mr. Bean, you're a monitor lizard, you're number 14. And Porky's helmet, Porky's at corner, not helmets, not helmets, not votes. It's monitor lizard, this is from me. Adam Smith, you're a monitor lizard. Now, I've studied monitor lizard behaviour the last couple of days on internet. I got right into it and I know everything about a monitor lizard. And these people have symptoms of a monitor lizard, right? where they're distrusting and disloyal and ruthless even amongst the family monitor lizards are ruthless and and i believe that that i believe we are david ike when he says we all started out as lizards i believe that's true and i believe that i believe that They're monitor lizards, these people here. They're showing the symptoms of it. So Adam Smith, number 14. Number 13, Joe Murkowski, is it? Or Murkowski, or whatever he is. That does own him. Now, to be a monitor lizard on Porky's Corner, I have to... I have to study your interviews on IFL. And study what you're about. Now, these monitor lizards here, they don't get time of day to anybody else except the big channels. Because that's how monitor lizards work. A monitor lizard won't go after... He won't go after a... a they won't go after something that leaves tiny eggs. You know, like a, a spuggy or a, or a woodpecker that leaves small eggs. No, they go after big eggs, don't they? Like crocodile's eggs and 
or, you know, big animal, big, big other people, reptiles, eggs and that, they won't, or birds, eggs and stuff, they won't go after little eggs, they go after big eggs and these are showing symptoms of monitor, monitor lizard behaviour, you know, where all they're doing is, they just wanted to go on big platforms, aren't they? They don't bother with small fry, because it's no good to them, is it, to get the message across? Alright. Now, so Joe Murkowski, number 13, monitor lizard. Number number 12. <laughs> He's there again, isn't he? He's always there, isn't he? It's Johnny! Nelson. Some of the things Nelson's been coming out with over this KSI, Logan Paul. He wants to put in a straight jacket, doesn't he, Johnny Nelson? I mean, wh what planet is he on him? Johnny Nelson, what is he coming out with? <laughs> Johnny Nelson saying that that Joe, who is it? He must, is it Weller or Wally or something? Weller or something? Well, 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 some, uh, he could win. He, he could be English title level in one year training with him. Monitor lizard behaviour wanting ten percent of the big money. That's monitor lizard behaviour. Johnny Nelson, number twelve, monitor lizard for Porky's Corner. Number eleven, Ambrose Mendy. Ambrose Mendy gets in for the simple re reason that uh, I don't want to go there. Ambrose Mendy, you got a problem? Come see me. All right. Whatever you've got, you've left uh, a, a destruction in your wake. Do you know what I mean? You are not to be trusted. You're a monitor lizard. You got a problem? Give me a ring. Jake Wood, number ten. <laughs> Oh my God! Jake Wood running around getting s autographs and signed photos for EastEnders cast for boxers' families. That's monitor lizard behaviour. Jesus, unbelievable! Jake Wood, you know, in at number ten. Number nine, Richard Poxon. Well, we all know about Richard Poxon, don't we? Hey. 40 odd grand went missing on it from Dennis's accounts. If you've got a problem, Richard, come see me or sue me if you've got a problem. Alright? Come and see me or get your lawyers in touch with me. You're a thief and you're running around accusing Denner having your house smashed up. Google Richard Poxon on social media, Google him, and then it goes down to where some, some masked men ran in his house and smashed it all up to bits with baseball bats. Running around accusing people, but yet he's serving traffic cops in his coffee shop, wasn't he? Hey, because you feared for your life, didn't you, Poxon? You thief! You're the monitor lizard. Police watching your house and all that, while your wife's running outside making them sandwiches and coffee. Jesus, Sergeant Poxon. Don't believe me? Google. Richard Poxon, and then go down to the bottom and have a look at it. You see for yourself. Number eight, John Rawlings. Oh my God, John Rawlings hanging out at back of uh, Tyson Fury's arsehole. What's all that about? Hey, eh? hanging out of the back of Tyson's arsehole. Some of the things he said about Otto Wallin were shocking. He's big. He's strong. He's tough, rough, tough, rugged! It's the rough, tough, rugged syndrome, isn't it? Stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet! Otto fucking Wally! I need my medication, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started on that. Oh, I'm just in calm. Need my meds. Let's have a look. Number seven. The rimming that this guy has been doing in the last few weeks around Eddie Hearn and Adam Smith and Frank Warren is playing everybody off against each other. David Costcutter Hay. David Costcutter Hay. David, do you feel embarrassed about the amount of 
rimming that you've been doing. You've brainwashed Derek Chisora, a shot fighter. You've actually brainwashed him into thinking that he beats uh, Tyson Fury in a rematch after Wallin performance. Uh, and that other guy, Joshua, David A, pull your head out, Eddie Earns arsehole, mate. Go book your send an, an operation at Claremont. They'll get you in, mate, if you pay up front. The tech cash as well, I should know. Uh, number six. I've had to put this guy in, right, because I've been looking at his line of questioning last couple of days. And see how I've done my research. So let me tell you this. All you people are brainwashed into thinking that Rob Tebbett's this superhuman speaks spokesman for the hardcores. Because Martin, New Age Podfather, he's uh, hanging, hanging out at the back of him. Well, I think he is. Rob Tebbett this, Rob Tebbett that. Go and look at the questions that Rob Tebbett asks Eddie Hearn. When he gets him into position to move him for the kill, he doesn't do it. He doesn't he don't go for it. He's got that dartitis. You know what dart players get? Eric Bristow got it, didn't he? He's got that. So Rob Tebbett, number six. People were saying I won't put Matthew Macklin in this this morning. Because he's with MTK and big mates with owner. Matthew Macklin, you're number five. Your behaviour the last month has been shocking. Shocking. Do you remember when Joshua got clipped off Andy Ruiz? You heard what Macklin said, didn't you? His legs are shaking! His legs are shaking, Adam! What is all that about? It's not that, it's just I've studied Macklin's interviews on IFL and some of the things that he were coming out with around Tyson Fury when he was fighting Wallin and Swartz were. Even Ali had a few fights like that. Look, Ali was 50 years ago, mate. 50 years ago. 55 years ago, Ali, he beat Sonny Liston. 55 years ago, boxing's moved on since then. Matthew Macklin, yeah, you should be a, a former world champion, you were robbed, but it don't mean to say that you can't be on the channel, does it? You've been behaving like a monitor lizard. Monitor lizard is behaviour that's even worse than helmet behaviour, because it's from me, the chief of the channel, the leader of the pack. Jesus. Sporting icons. Sporting Icons has made number four. It was embarrassing to look at Sporting Icons videos. It was embarrassing yesterday. I was looking at Sporting Icons videos and I actually rate his boxing knowledge, but where he lets his send down is where he were promoting that KSI thing. He knew what was going on, but they're not gonna they're not gonna mess up the press passes, are they? Bit like boxing with AD, isn't it? He's got a press pass for Saudi, hasn't he? Hanging out of the back of match room. Get a grip, you're a monitor lizard sporting icon. And come from behind that camera and let's see what you look like. Number three. Coogan Cassius. Number three. Coogan. Why are you putting them questions to Umar to ask Eddie Hearn? I want you to ask him. I sent the tweet to you, Coogan. I want you to ask Eddie Hearn about the things that I've sent you. Not Umar, IFL Umar. I want you to ask him, you. All right? Coogan, grow a pair. You know boxing now. You've been around it long enough. I know you don't want to rock the boat, but it's becoming embarrassing. It's becoming a fucking cult. Coogan, you rank number three on Porky's Corner, monitor lizards in boxing. Gareth A. Davis, your number two. Your behaviour for a journalist. And let's have it right, Gareth. I'm not fucking bothered you, Den's mate. This is not Den's channel. It's my channel. And I'm going to start and say what I want. Alright. All I have to do is say what I want and then I click a few certain buttons on there so that it's not available for kids so you have to press the your 18 year old. I can say what I want. You can't know about it. Say what I want. You can't on Twitter. 
Let me tell you this. Gareth A. Davis, your behaviour of late has been that bad that you need help. You need to go and speak to somebody, Gareth. Go and speak to somebody, right? There's people out there that can give you help. There's help out there. I got it, didn't I, when I had a problem with, with heroin. I had a problem. I couldn't do it. I went on holiday for a week and got a flight back after three days. I was like that. Like that, shaking like a leaf. There's help out there. Do you know what I mean? I know you can do it. I was like that, Gareth, at one point. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take myself away from all this. I'm going abroad where I can't get none. I ended up. <laughs> I ended up. <laughs> I, bought, I bought cocoa. I bought cocoa. I did all like that. Like, yes! Got back to hotel. I was running all over Spain in a taxi for foil and lighters. Got back to hotel. I thought, oh, look at this. Sun, sea, and heroin. Got back. I ended up making a cocoa with it. Fucking devastated. There's help out there, Gareth. Just go and get it, mate. Go get it or get a flight out of London. Go get some help. Go fly home or something like I did. Fly home early. And last but not least, I've had to put this guy in here, right? I know he's fractures, mate, and all that. And somebody said to me the other day, he's all right, you know. Look, I don't give a fuck. I'm not really bothered. He can't beat me any uglier than I am. Look. Pain here. Look, this guy here, right, is he is a serial. I'm not even sure if I'm going to call this monitor lizards. This guy is a serial, serial monitor lizard, right? Serial. And I mean, it's that bad. Yeah, we're on 17 minutes, so it's worked. We've gone back 12 minutes. It's that bad, right? That. His behaviour, the number one in my opinion, is shocking and I've watched him up close and I've heard, I've heard stuff off people and well, this guy is the number one UK monitor lizard in boxing, right? Darren Barker. Darren Barker, you are the number one monitor lizard in boxing, I mean... If you're worse than Gareth A. Davis, you're bad. Now, go and look at that Gareth Barker's interviews. I mean, the man's got everything. <laughs> the man's got a Chelsea tattoo there. He's got to have a maximum tattoo on the other arm. <laughs> the behaviour from this guy is that bad that it, it's serial behaviour. It, it's, it's shocking. Shocking behaviour from Darren Barker. Shocking. Real, 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 real shocking. And, and, and I think that uh, I could have found these on my desk today. Nice them, aren't they? I've got some friends for uh, Piggy to play with. I don't even know where these have come from. They've got to have come from Dave, I think. I don't know. Unless the packaging Teddy's here. I don't know, but it's a nice touch, isn't it, that? But uh, White House Ledger International, Basildon, Essex. Basildon. Uh, but yeah, shocking behaviour from Darren Barker. And we're going to finish off here with some of that's uh, some of that's really, really, really funny. Oh. So, right, hang on a minute. We get this up now because when you unplug your computer, you have to unplug it. It takes ages to reload, doesn't it? I'm gonna get this video done and then I'm gonna go through a few comments once and then I've got I've got some material then to upload over the weekend. Because I am on it tonight! Woo -hoo -hoo! Return of the pig! I deserve a night out. Come on!
Well, I'll just have to put a picture up. Uh, it's crashed on me. So, Darren Barker, you are a uh, monitor lizard number one. But what can you do? What can you do? It's uh, one of the things, isn't it? It's just boxing, isn't it? It's just boxing, but it's, my, it's in my opinion, I mean. Other people might say, hey, that's not nice, does it? Porky said you're a monitor lizard. Porky said you're a monitor lizard, that's no good is it? I I, how dare I? How dare I? How dare I say right, that Darren Barker's a monitor lizard? So, Darren Barker, you got a problem? Come see me. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Innovation Alloys at Sheffield back at EIS where Joshua was training. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packing Services. Alright, so peace. And shout out to me mate, Smiddows mate, is it Chris? Shout out to him, Smiddows pal, I forgot. I hope you're well mate, you take care. I forgot your Twitter handle but I'm not on Twitter now, so you won't have me and not well behaved enough. Alright, but don't worry about it. Sure all porky hardcore followers will share me videos in there for me. So peace out.